Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, my name is Jess. Welcome to Smarter Beauty where I talk about a lot of cruelty free beauty and lifestyle here on my channel so make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss out on new videos every week. You can also find me on social media, my links will be here on the screen and also in the description box. So today I'm bringing you my May favorites, got some beauty, some makeup, some skincare, some hair things, some nail things, so if you guys want to see what I've been loving and using throughout the whole month of May, <laughs> then definitely keep watching. Let's get into this video. All right, so let's just get right into it. I am so sorry about the rain. I hope it's not too loud. It's just been raining cats and dogs the past few days. Not too much I can do about that. <laughs> I can't control the weather, but I hope it's not too distracting and noisy for you guys. So let's start with eye products first because I just, I'm dying to mention these products. So first up we have the e.l.f. Cosmetics Putty Eye Primers. I love these. I definitely want to get more. I want to try some other shades. Uh, I do really like the shade. This one is in the shade Cream. It comes in this little plastic tub and I just love this. It's pigmented, it's opaque, it's a really great primer. And once you warm it up on the back of your hand and apply it to your lids, it's just so good. I don't know if I've actually mentioned these in a favorites video, but I do like using this. It, it's just, it's so good, it's long wearing, and I love that it covers up my redness, discoloration, and veining on my eyelids because they get so, so red. Uh, so this has just been really fantastic, and if you haven't tried these yet, definitely check them out. They also have one in black, which I'm really curious to try for like doing a smoky look. But yeah, these are fantastic. I also have the shade white, and I always use this now for when I'm doing really bright, colorful looks, if I'm using like hot pink or blue, any sort of white eye base you use will make bright eyeshadows pop even more and make them more vibrant and stand out. So, but once you get this on, I feel like it really does prevent my um, eyeshadow from creasing throughout the day and it really does intensify eyeshadow. I just, I really love these, they're so good. I really wanna get more of them, they're fantastic been obsessed. I love them both. All right, moving on. My one and only eyeshadow favorite for the month of May, 100% goes to the Melt Cosmetics Rust eyeshadow palette. This is brand new and I purchased this immediately when it launched and I've already done a review and swatches and a tutorial, so definitely go check that video out if you want to see it. So the packaging, first of all, is stunning. It's got this like rust and it's like textured, you can kind of feel it. It's just, oh, I can't even put my words together right. It has this beautiful font right here. Do you see that? Look at that. Oh, oh, she's gorgeous. And the back is even beautiful. I just, oh, it's just perfect. <laughs> you open it up and all of the Melt palettes do have a really large mirror. And here's just a look at the palette again. I've already done swatches, tutorial with it. And actually, I'm in the middle of doing a three looks, one palette with this. So I'm doing three different eye looks. This is one of them. So stay tuned. If you guys want to see how I did this look with this palette, it will be coming. I don't know if I could pick any favorites, but just off the top of my head, Antique, I'm starting to really love. I have that through my crease today, and I'm obsessed. It's a perfect, like, peachy, fleshy nude. Erode, oh my god. A mustard lover's dream. You guys know I love those mustard shadows. Rubbish, come on. Again, it's that mustard brown type color. Rust, of course. Oh my gosh, it's just the most beautiful brown. Look how pigmented. I barely stuck my finger in there. Once again, Melt hit it out of the park with this palette. I love the texture. I love their matte formula. It's one of my favorite formulas ever. They just, they blend so easily. They look so nice and they're buildable. They're not so pigmented to where you know, like other brands where they're so pigmented, you have to be careful. I feel like these, you can just really go in and blend and blend. It just, they, oh, <laughs> I just love this palette. I feel so inspired by the Melt eyeshadow palettes. Like every time I pull this out and use it, I fall in love with it more and more. I'm so happy with the quality. I love the packaging. I just love everything about it. Oh, it's just right up my alley. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, it's everything and more that I was hoping for. 
it's safe to say I love this palette and it's definitely been my favorite. All right, moving on to the face. I have lots of face favorites as well. So first up, I've been really loving shopping my stash. I've been doing quite a few of those videos lately and I really wanna do more. I just really have been loving just using what I have. Been a lot of fun, I wanna keep doing that because I'm trying not to buy new things. I feel like I'm just slowing down on my makeup purchases. The last thing I bought was uh, this palette here with a few melt lipsticks because I can't contain myself. <laughs> <laughs> went through lipsticks when they're on sale anyways this is the BH Cosmetics nude blush 10 color blush palette it's a mouthful so it just has really simple packaging and I've been loving it I mean the colors in here are beautiful you can use them with many different looks and I love the variation of tones and textures some are matte some have more of a satin finish the only one I don't like is this one here at the bottom corner because it literally is a metallic bronze shade it's just I don't know how that's a blush it would probably look really beautiful on deeper skin tones for sure my favorite shades in here I pretty much love all of them I would say the ones I reach for the most is this light pink shade here this like neutral shade this one's kind of like a, a, a muted peach but it has a little bit of shimmer and this pink one I also like these like mauvey tones right here so I pretty much use these two and these four at the top the most but it's such a good palette the blushes in here are just so nice and they're softer so if you're afraid of blush and you want just one palette with everything in it this is definitely a must-have. If I don't know what blush I want to use, I'll pull this out and it's just, it's fantastic. It's such a good palette. All right, so let's continue. So one of my favorite highlighters right now, again, this is something else I discovered from my collection, Shopping My Stash is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in the shade Stunner. And she is stunning. I know I've mentioned this highlight. <laughs> quite a few times but it's just such a good one I feel like this goes with a lot of different makeup looks I'm not wearing it right now because I'm wearing a lot of like warm tones today but it's a nice cool tone highlighter as you can see I have a nice big dip right there there's no chunks of glitter in here it's just a really nice sheen to your skin it's just you know it's stunning <laughs> so there's a swatch right there you see what I mean it just ah oh, it's just so beautiful I don't know how to describe it. It's just so so pretty. It's so different, so, so unique. I don't have anything else like this in my makeup collection and I love a good highlight. It lasts all day. I mean, that Amazonian clay formula, it really does last all day. I'm trying to find a dupe for it. The search continues, <laughs> but for now, I'm gonna use it and enjoy it and it's beautiful. All right, the next item here is kind of an eyeshadow, but I also use it as a highlighter as well. So I kind of put it together in this category I guess I could have mentioned it with all the eye products but it's for Medusa's makeup and I subscribe to their subscription box it's a monthly subscription thing I do have my videos I actually filmed that today as well so if you missed my May box I'm not sure when this video is going up but that will be coming soon um, unboxing the May Medusa's makeup box anyways this is one of their eye dust it's just like a mineral loose eyeshadow and this is in the shade full moon comes in this cute teeny tiny pot little plastic container and it just has a little itty bitty sifter looks like that I'll go ahead and swatch it here's the swatch so that's the eye dust it's really pretty it's not super like in your face metallic or anything you can see that the highlighter from Tarte is a little bit more on the shiny side but this one just has almost like I don't know it just has a little bit of a shift to it, it looks kind of purple it looks kind of pink it's so pretty so yes I've been loving this little eye dust as a highlight as an eyeshadow it's just beautiful all right let's move on to the lips and another product I have for Medusa's makeup actually is a lip balm so this is their rage against the bean vanilla lip balm it's just a lip balm it's nothing special it is clear just a twist up but oh my goodness this smells so good it smells like vanilla bean <laughs> kind of smells like coconut a little bit a little bit vanilla but oh my gosh it's very moisturizing I like the texture of this lip balm it's not too slippery it just grips onto your lips it keeps them moisturized and hydrated a new favorite 
All right, and then for lipsticks, pretty much I have been living in my Melt lipsticks. I'm sorry, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> so these are actually two new shades. So when I ordered the Rust palette, I ordered a few more lipstick shades because they were on sale for $5. And you guys know my love for these lipsticks. And when they're on sale for $5, I go a little crazy, okay? As soon as I started wearing them, I can't put them down. So this shade is called Voyeur. So this is actually a really unique color. It's almost like a brownish nude, but it has a little bit of a sort of like yellowish, greenish undertone. It's just so different. Like Mel does the most unique and beautiful lip colors I've ever seen. I actually wore this in a recent video where I did a one eyeshadow look featuring a yellow eyeshadow and this was the lip color I wore and it's just a really pretty brown but there's something different about it. It has a little bit of like a yellowish undertone. It's just a slightly different. I don't know what it is. I don't know how they do it but there is something special about the Melt lipsticks, just how they feel, how they wear throughout the day. I'm wearing one right now. I'm actually wearing the shade Nude because it's my go-to nude lipstick, okay? <laughs> I can't help it. It's just so easy to just put on. But anyways, yeah, been loving this one. It's so good. And then the other one I just started wearing and falling in love with is the shade Old Rose. This is like your lips but better type of shade. It's the perfect like mauve nude lipstick. It's so perfect. Now it looks pretty dark in the tube but on the lips, oh my gosh you guys. Here's Old Rose right there. It's just again that perfect kind of pinky mauve nude it's just, it's perfect. It actually matches my natural lip color so well. Like my natural lip color, when they're kind of like red and irritated, it's this color here. It's just the perfect nude. I absolutely love it. <sighs> Again, I'm obsessed. I'm sorry. I just, I can't. And they also, they smell like vanilla, like vanilla buttercream frosting deliciousness. Another rediscovered product is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Modern Metals Lip Gloss. I definitely want to get a backup of this because it's one of those lip glosses that I feel once it's discontinued, I'm going to be very sad. So this came with their Modern Metals collection forever ago. I think I did a review actually on that collection when it first launched. And I loved everything from that collection, including this gloss. So this is a clear lip gloss with tons of golden shimmer and sparkles throughout. It's so beautiful. The formula is so nice. It's creamy. It's not sticky and it's long wearing and it smells, smells really good as well. Just has like the flat doe foot applicator. And even though this is like clear with the gold and you guys know I'm not a big fan of gold, but for some reason when I wear this, it looks so pretty. So here's a swatch right here, just kind of all over. It's going to be hard to see, but it's just super glossy shiny and I love wearing this either on its own or over top of another lip color. It's just again an amazing product, a new rediscovered product <laughs> that I've been loving and yeah I love it. Oh look at that. Look at all those beautiful shiny pretty things. It just makes me so happy. <laughs> All right, so the next product I have, the last sort of makeup product, this is a setting spray actually from ColourPop. It's the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. So I purchased this a while back from Ulta. I just placed a very small order and I threw, th threw this into my basket. I've been looking for a setting spray that's affordable, that's cruelty-free, vegan-friendly, that is good for dry skin, has a good spray. You know, all the check marks that I'm looking for in a setting spray, I think I've found a new, like, holy grail favorite. I still don't know if it prolongs the wear of my makeup, but it really does set everything really nicely. I am wearing it right now. It smells amazing. It smells it smells like coconuts, it smells so good. I'm so impressed with the spray nozzle on here. Now look at my uh, black bouquet of flowers there. And let's see if I can show you, like it's such a fine mist. Look at that, oh. This does give me a little bit of a, I wouldn't say like a dewy glow, but it just sets everything really nicely. It doesn't dry out my skin, which is really good. And I mean, it gets the job done. I wear a lot of powder products, so I like to use a setting spray and really just 
soak my face because <laughs> it just sort of like melts everything into the skin and makes it not look as powdered like love it i would definitely recommend it all right so this is from osea and this is their ocean lotion i love how that rhymes it does say on here it's a universal body moisturizer instantly absorbs into the skin avocado oils rosehip kukui shea butter organic seaweed comes in this really sleek glass bottle has a pump now i'm not sure what the full size looks like but i imagine it's just a taller bottle where you get more product but this small one has one fluid ounce and it's really nice it's kind of a milky lotion here's what it looks like and it's it's really thin um it's fragrance free it feels really nice it, and it really does absorb super quickly so um like when i get out of the shower i'll just put a few pumps in my hand you know rub it over my arms my legs especially after shaving and i love it it's just super quick super easy it absorbs really fast and it leaves my skin feeling so silky and soft like just so nice. It's such a nice moisturizer. And again, you can use it on your hands. I've actually used it on my face because I thought it was a face lotion and I'm like, uh oh, <laughs> it's for the body. But nonetheless, you can use it for that. And actually my skin didn't have a bad reaction. So this is a really great face moisturizer, body moisturizer. I like that it's an all-in-one product. I would definitely take this with me if I was to travel in the near future. I love Osea, they have such really luxury, cruelty-free vegan skincare. Luxury feel, I love the packaging, everything from the packaging to the box to the ingredients are nice and they're not, you know, too nasty or icky, you know? Vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff. It's amazing, I've been really loving it. So I've been on the hunt for a very long time for a hairspray that's cruelty-free, vegan-friendly, budget friendly and I think I finally have found it. I really like this one. I'm losing my voice you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so this is the Too Chic Ultra Volume Big Body Hairspray. This is for fine limp hair. So yeah, I really love uh, the packaging is really nice on here and the spray nozzle is really nice. I'm not going to spray this right now, but I did spray it into my braids to kind of control the frizz because the frizz is like a thing you know this is not an aerosol can by the way it's just a regular uh spray just a regular spray but it's really good so if you're looking for a cruelty free vegan hairspray i finally find found one that i like and my hair is definitely more on the fine side this isn't like mega hold but it's enough hold for me that i feel like it doesn't weigh down my very thin fine hair Overall, I really like it and I had to give it a shout out because it's been a challenge finding hair products that I like that are cruelty free. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're almost through. I have two nail polish favorites to share with you. Uh, this is from Flower Beauty. This is in the shade What's the Daffodilio? The name is adorable. Hello. I really wish they would bring these back. Uh, when Flower Beauty first like launched, they had a line of nail polishes. I only own three shades, which I love but I really missed using it and I pulled it out, used it again, and oh my gosh, such a beautiful, fun color. If I can find a photo of this on my nails, I'll pop it here up in the screen, but it's a beautiful, bright coral shade. It's really gorgeous. I actually really like the formulation of these nail polishes, and honestly, it hasn't gone bad at all. The formula is still the same as I remember it. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys still have some of these. I actually really like the formulation. Two coats, dries fairly quickly, beautiful finish. It lasts a nice, you know, decent amount of time on the nails. Ah, the memories, the memories. And then my other favorite definitely goes to Zoya. This is in the shade Madison, and this is a very pale, pale, sheer, milky pink. And this is actually, I think, one of their sheer finishes. It's not like a super opaque formula. I wanted something that was super nude, a little bit pink, and definitely sheer, so I could do like that sort of barely there manicure look, kind of like a French manicure, but not with like the crazy white tips. This is a really nice way of doing it, and it looks so beautiful. I have it on right now. Now my nails don't look the greatest. I need to redo them. <laughs> but just to show you really quickly, it's such a nice sheer color. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I actually have worn this like two or three times in a row. I never really do that. I always switch it up. Every week I do my fresh manicure. 
and I always apply a different color but I actually have just been feeling kind of like blah lately you know with everything going on in the world so this is just easy to just slap on a couple of coats and I'm done and it just makes you look like you had your nails professionally done at the salon <laughs> so I just really like it it's a nice nude sheer color and I definitely I'm kind of loving that look on the nails right now I wouldn't mind getting a couple more sheer finishes like that so Zoya Madison is my new fave. Alright guys, last but not least, I do have some jewelry favorites. I definitely want to include a variety of things in my favorites videos and not have it just be makeup all the time, you know? So my favorite jewelry like online shop is Urban Body Jewelry when it comes to like my ears. So like plugs, tunnels, all that stuff. So these are some Crescent Moon plug hangers and I absolutely love these. I have done two different jewelry hauls. If you guys want to see uh, my jewelry hauls, I'll link them below in the description box. Definitely go check them out. I love anything to do with like the moon, the stars, the sky. I just, I love it. I love moons. I don't know what it is. I'm just so drawn to moons. All right, so I went ahead and just popped these in real quickly. They're so pretty. You could definitely wear them this way or you could put them in uh, reverse and wear them like that way but they are just so pretty they're stunning let me just get closer that's what they look like and they just hang there and they're comfortable they're not too heavy but yeah they're just so pretty I just absolutely love them I definitely want to get more like moons and stars I'm just kind of really feeling the hangers lately <laughs> and the hoops and all that so these are definitely a favorite so these I pretty much wear all the time I sleep in these as well just because they're so comfortable and my ears close up really quickly if I sleep without any jewelry in so I do have to sleep with something in my ears these are I believe these are opal I forget the name if I can find the name I'll put it here on the screen but they look like a clear kind of milky white but in the light in certain lighting they will look kind of purple, kind of pink when you turn your head in different lighting. They're just really pretty. So they may look kind of like basic on camera, but in person, they look so unique and different. And these are just so nice to wear, comfortable. But yeah, I had to mention these because I wear them all the time and I love them. <laughs> They're so good. So this other pair here I've been wearing nonstop as well. And you probably have seen me wear these a lot too. But they're so gorgeous. How could I not mention them? They have this sort of like opal stone in the middle with like these really pretty reflex. And this beautiful design around the outside. Now these are stainless steel. I love wearing these. They're so pretty in the ears. And I feel like they just really kind of spruce up your look. You know, they look a little bit antique, a little bit fancy. These are all uh, half an inch, by the way, if you're wondering. But yeah, I just love their plugs so much. I have so many other favorites I wanted to mention, but I'll save that for another video. But yeah, I've been wearing these nonstop. All right, guys, so that is everything. That was my May favorites. Lots of things, lots of new goodies that I've been loving and playing with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I post on Tuesdays and Fridays every week, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also find me on social media. My links will be here on the screen and also link down below. I will also link all of my favorites in the description box, so make sure to check that out if you want to shop any of my faves. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending you my love, and uh, I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye, guys.